What up, YouTube? It's your boy AJ back with another video. Last night, we got some bullish news that was leaked from Brian Legend. Not a lot to go off of, but it's enough to make a video about. So let's get into it. You guys are reading this correctly. Brian Legend has been in contact with an investment firm that manages $1.3 billion in assets. That's insane because that makes Seifu and the Seifu X brand a lot more attractive if this was to play out the right way. I understand that a lot of you don't understand anything about investment firms, whether it's venture capitalists or angel investment. My background is in these elements, so I'm going to walk you guys through what it takes to get investments from an investment firm. It's a tool that I like to use to identify which startups are actively raising capital and which investors are the key players. And I'm also going to use a venture fund that's well known. I'm going to go over their assets under management. I'm also going to go through their crypto portfolio and look at a few companies that they invested in in the past. And some of you may know some of these companies, some of you may not. but it's going to highlight why it's important to work with a VC and how you can leverage this to build a much bigger brand. There's not a lot of companies out here, let alone crypto, actually talking about VC money because you have to be highly attractive to attract the VC. I know from personal experience. So let's get into this more in depth. Hope you guys enjoy. Kick back, relax. Let's get it. This is the tool I was referring to. I use it a lot when I'm betting startups and when I'm looking for VCs in certain markets. It's very helpful because it allows startups or any company to create a fully thought out portfolio and answer some of the hard questions and some of the most commonly asked questions from VCs and angel investors. In order to get started with this, you would have to sign up at the top right, which is out of view on my camera. And then from there, you create a portfolio and then once you create the portfolio, you get a link that has your whole portfolio into one link you can share with whoever you would like to get critiques, get feedback or whatever you want to do. So let's scroll down. It's pretty straightforward. Everything I just said. So now you see it's a one, two, three step process. For this section of the page, I want to focus on track opens and engagement. This area is so important because you definitely want to have key metrics available to you to show what investors are spending most of their time at. This can be good, this can be bad, depending on the industry and depending on the investor. Typically, you want them to spend the shortest amount of time in an area. That shows that the information was presented clear and concise. The more time they spend in the area usually means they didn't understand the information. They have to reread it to actually formulate what was actually being said or what is being translated. So this is something you definitely want to make sure that you're getting feedback from when you're pitching investors or trying to raise capital and sharing your link. So let's keep going. Everything is pretty straightforward. My biggest suggestion is create a profile, get into the account, figure out what's what, and definitely send your deck out information out so you can get the feedback. And this applies to well-established companies, startups. It can be anyone because if you're trying to go Series A, Series B, Series C, which are those high-level multi-million dollar rounds, you want to make sure that you got all your information in place and you've done enough due diligence to be able to engage an investor with confidence. Now that we got that out the way, let's talk about an, a particular investment firm. And then later, we're going to tie it in on how it relates to Seifu and how Seifu can leverage venture capital investment as well. The investment firm we're going to focus on today will be Andreessen Horowitz. They're a reputable silicone investment firm that invests in a lot of different industries from seed stage to late stage technologies. Late stages may be series A, series B, and so on. The biggest takeaway from this company is their assets. They have over $33 billion in assets under management. That shows that they have a lot of wiggle room to play around with investments. And 
because of their name, this is the firm that you really want to be a part of because you know that they have the money. You don't have to question whether there's going to be a follow on investment. And that's important for a cryptocurrency as well, because you definitely want to have the backing of a reputable company because your name means their name means everything. And the last thing they want is to invest in something and it falls through. And that's the, that's the nightmare of anybody investing. No one want to invest in something knowing that it's not going to succeed. The expectation of success is always there in the front end. But this is just an overview of the company. The company also has a crypto portfolio that we're going to go over right now. This is what you want to see from a confident investment firm. You can relate this to Seifu. What is Seifu doing differently than any other crypto out there? They're building a rebased blockchain. Hasn't been done, maybe not even been attempted, but you can also say that it may be the next dot com in the sense of crypto. So let's go down and highlight a few more things that stick out. So let's talk about this thesis. This thesis is so important. A16Z, which is there's 16 letters in the name of the venture firm. So they call themselves A16Z. A16Z Crypto is a venture capital fund that invests in crypto and Web3 startups. We've recently announced a $4.5 billion for fund bringing our total fundraise to more than $7.6 billion. We already know that this firm has over $33 billion in assets, but to have another fund that has over a billion dollars in assets, it instills confidence in companies trying to get involved with this firm. Because now that you know that the money is there and there's a lot of potential for follow-up investments as well. So, Let's go down to the portfolios and look at some of the companies they have invested in in this fund. Seems like quite a few, but not a lot compared to the entire crypto market. So it's all about odds. That's what investment's about. You got to have a viable product and a really good use case in order to get this magnitude of funding. Because once you get some VC funding, they're gonna do all they can to make sure that you succeed because at the end of the day, we all wanna get paid. We wanna make sure that we get paid. We wanna make sure that you get paid and you continue to get paid for a long term. It's not a short term gig. But anyway, if you look at the top of these portfolios, at the end, you will notice Avalanche. Everyone knows Avalanche, but for some of you guys that don't know, Avalanche went ICO a few years ago, and we're gonna talk about that. But first, we need to understand what is an ICO. An ICO is an initial coin offering. If you're in the business world outside of crypto, you will understand that it's different. It's called an IPO, which is an initial public offering. What it means is a company is going from being a private company to now becoming a public company which opened up doors for a mass investment audience. Now we're going to look into Avalanche and we're going to look at the information about the IPO. And once we're done with that, we're going to go into what it takes to get in a position to IPO. Like what is that call? What is that process? So let's get into Avalanche a little bit more in depth. The Avalanche token price rises 10x since the $42 million ICO. That is huge. That shows that there's opportunities out there once you go public because now there's no limit to how much money that can be invested into your protocol. So let's talk about this as it relates to Seifu and Seifu X. Let's just say at the time of launch with Seifu X, the price went all the way up to $50 because of the hype and the investments. And shortly after that, they decided they wanted to ICO. Could you imagine a 10X on a $50 price point? That's huge. That's why getting funding is so important for a company. It also comes with a lot of caveats because 
when you're doing this, you have to go through a strenuous due diligence process, which we're about to get into right now. Operational due diligence of crypto assets. I can't stress this enough. This is the most stressful part of any engagement with a VC firm or an angel investor because the due diligence is basically a deep dive into everything that you're doing and it's going to leave a lot more questions than answers. The hardest part initially is getting someone engaged. And now you're going to start the most stressful part. Think of the due diligence process as an extensive audit. Audits are never good. They're going to raise more questions than answers. So that's why I say this is the most stressful part of the cycle when you're trying to engage and raise outside capital. So let's go down and see what some of this entails as it relates to crypto. So I want to highlight this particular section right here. It is important to discuss the scope of crypto assets that may be considered. This could include liquid assets and their derivatives, such as a Bitcoin or Ethereum, initial coin offering or ICO, simple agreement of future tokens or SAP, or venture capital style equity positions in companies within crypto ecosystems. Asset managers of crypto funds could also be involved in staking, lending, and borrowing crypto assets. This part is so important because it's identifying what you're getting yourself into and understanding that there are a lot of variables out there that we need to consider, especially when you're talking crypto. And we're gonna go down and just look at a few things that may be important. I'm not gonna to go too in depth with this because this is very long. I'm just gonna talk about what's important, how Seifu can leverage this, and just talk about why is this so important for Seifu in general. Custody. This is so important. I feel like we have to go over this part. Custody is so important. What does custody of crypto assets mean? Crypto assets are digital bearer instruments that reside inside of a digital blockchain database. Custodians store the private key that contains the ability to transfer the asset to other people. Key custodial functions are the secure creation of a public private key pairing and storing the private key in a secure way. This is very important because you need to understand that you may be relinquishing some rights in order to get the capital that you're seeking. It happens with every company, usually seeking VC funding, and it's all about control. Some firms may feel that they have a better team in place because they invested in hundreds of companies that they may want their team to manage this and you may need to fire some people or change their role in order to succeed with the funding round or something of that nature. And like every, every firm is different, but this is important. You need to understand that the private keys may change hands and things of that nature. So let's scroll down, look at some more information. We're going to talk about valuation. Valuations is so important as an investor. I ask the question all the time from startups, what's your valuation? What is this? Most of them don't know what it means or how to calculate it. There's a source that I use. I'm going to put the link in the description. All it is is a source asking, how much money have you raised before? How much equity are you willing to give up? And by giving up this X amount of equity, how much are you trying to raise? And that will formulate how much your evaluation is or how much your company is worth. So valuation is very important as well. So we're not going to go too in depth with it. We're going to keep strolling down. All right. So I'm not going to go into this any further, but I do want to add one thing. Another major step in this process is the white paper. I know that we're working on releasing a white paper pretty soon for Safe X and that pretty much completes the 
due diligence process, your white papers, everything, it highlights every operational step needed. I just wanted to add that because I know it's in this. I know it was in this article, but I just don't have the time to actually look for it. But the white paper is definitely something you definitely want to keep out there. You definitely want to keep on standby because it may be asked. Could you send us your business model or could you send us your entire business plan or just your financial analysis for your five years or your pro forma? You just never know, but it's always good to have that stuff on standby. So I'm going to cut this video short. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.